sanctuary cities, obviously in America we're talking about it, it's talking about the refugee crisis, the Muslims coming from blown up countries and things like that, but I want to talk about sanctuary cities in the Bible. And it's very interesting the way sanctuary cities in the Bible is discussed. Sanctuary cities, according to the Bible, goes something like this. It's called the Ir Miklat. And the scenario, the typical scenario that the Bible brings is two people chopping wood in the forest. One of them chops and the handle is not so strong. The, the metal flies off the handle and it kills his friend, which is standing next to him and chopping wood by mistake, by accident. It slips off. Now, the family of the person who was murdered have a commandment to chase down the person who was killed and kill him. They have the commandment of Goel Adam. Someone killed your family member, you have a commandment to go kill him. Doesn't matter if it was on purpose or mistake. Now, what does the person do? I mean, he, he did it by mistake. He didn't do it on purpose. It doesn't matter if he did it on purpose or by mistake. He has to go to an Ir Miklot and he has to get there fast. The Ir Miklot is a sanctuary city. The guards will check, they'll see the person and they'll come running and, and you know, breathless and he'll say, oh my god, I, I, I'm so, they're chasing me. They'll verify his story. They'll, they'll find out that, he, that he's the guy being chased. They let him in. And then he's in the sanctuary city. He cannot leave the sanctuary city according to Jewish law till the high priest dies. So pretty much it's a weird situation, but you have a bunch of people in the sanctuary city praying that the high priest should die. And once he dies, everyone is freed from their murderous... He goes up as sort of, um, you know, to atone for their sins kind of thing. And then the law in the Bible, which is obviously God's word, and above a human understanding at this point, but everyone goes free, whoever was admitted to the Ir Miklet. So the Ir Miklet is dealing with the death situation. But what's interesting about this commandment, which is one out of the 613 commandments in the Bible, is that it has never yet been fulfilled properly till this day. We're holding, the year is 5,777 from the creation of mankind, um, according to Jewish records. Um, from creation of Adam and Eve and the six days of creation and we have yet to fulfill this commandment and this is the only commandment that had the Jewish people have not yet fulfilled because this commandment is connected to when Israel will expand um, under the King Messiah pretty much and back in the day they had six Ari Mikla only six sanctuary cities. When Messiah comes, they'll have nine. And that will be the completion of this commandment. Why, I ask my viewers, is the only commandment connected to Messiah and the expansion of Israel sanctuary cities for people that were killed and murdered? Why is that the messianic uh, commandment. I thought that a perfect world with Messiah and everything would have a different commandment that would ring a tone of a perfect world. Why is this commandment so connected to murder? And the Rebbe explains one reason is because once Messiah's laws come into effect, you're going to have a lot of people that murder and they're all going to need sanctuary cities. So that's why you're going to need a, you're going to have an influx in one minute. Boom. Messiah arrived. Messiah's laws are in effect. Boom, everyone that murdered are going to have to come running to this place to protect themselves. Everyone else is going to have a commandment to kill them. So you're going to have an influx in one second. So that's why. That's one reason why, and that's a technical answer. But, but Kabbalistically, we always like to look at things in a deeper way, and Hasidic philosophy does that as well. So here is the answer that I heard from a very great rabbi that's uh, here in Israel recently. I spoke to him personally about this and this is the answer that we came up together and we spoke about together with, about. And the answer is pretty much that murder is the biggest form of exile in the world today. Some people unfortunately you know think that if they murder they get power from the devil 
and all kinds of things. There are people that religiously murder, and there are people that justify their murder in this religious, psychopathic, sociopathic world. There are all kinds of murderers, but the fact is, you know, mur murderers from abortions even. You know, look at a video of how they do an abortion and tell me that it's not murder. So there's a lot of reasons why murder is going on, but the fact is, it's murder and it's the biggest exile. How can we, uh, you know, the Jewish people are waiting for the resurrection of the dead, and we're waiting for the Messianic era, people to live forever. How can we ask for such things when there's murder going on in the world? And even if it's not us murdering, and it's, even if we're not directly related to all these things, but it's happening, and we're not doing enough to stop it, I guess. The first step in redemption is to end murder. And, you know, there are, there are some people that think that when Messiah arrives, if they're a murderer, they're going to burn in hell for eternity. That's not true. There's a Ir Miklat, there's a sanctuary city, there's a policy in place. God knows that as long as He's not here and the world is thrown in darkness, He can't really blame us for whatever is going on here. And therefore, there is this option of a sanctuary city. So, in other words, this commandment is hand in hand with Messiah being able to function in the world. Because once the murderers know that Messiah is not planning on burning them in hell forever, and that the opposite is true, that Messiah is here to make all evil end, but evil is not people. Evil is not... No, people can do evil, can create evil, but evil is an extension to whatever is happening in this universe. And that will cease. And that's what God wants. The people, they're going to have a sanctuary city. They're going to have a proper way of getting out of their problem as long as, obviously, they learn, they study, and they're willing to cooperate and change their ways. So this addresses the biggest issue of exile, and therefore it is the biggest accomplishment of the redemption. The sanctuary city is the commandment of Messiah. It is the answer to all those who have murder on their hands. And it is the answer to them, not only in a way of, okay, you won't burn in hell, you'll have an answer and a way of refining yourself and a way to get out of it, but also help bring Messiah. Don't worry. I know, you know, we, I know, we know, everyone knows that if you do bad deeds, Messiah is delayed. So, technically, it's pretty much up to these people that are busy in this cycle of doing not good deeds and then say, oh, okay, you know what, I better keep this up because if I stop, then Messiah might arrive and then I'm going to burn in hell. It's, you're not going to burn in hell. The opposite is true. Even from withholding yourself from doing sin is a, is a commandment. You're, do, you're fulfilling a commandment by not doing what's what's wrong half the com like not half but almost you can say half the commandments are positive commandments and half the commandments are negative commandments in other words the same way there is a commandment do not kill there's also a commandment of sustaining life so if you sustain life you're also fulfilling a commandment so the fact that um, it's harder for you to sustain life and to refrain from killing than it is for someone else that just makes that you get more reward and God um, sees that and knows that and, and, and sees the heart and knows how hard it is for someone to refrain from doing violence. And it just makes his, command, his fulfillment of that commandment the greatest gem in the world because God knows that it's hard for that person. <clears throat> so in conclusion, the Messianic era starts with the absence of death in the world and then we can have the resurrection of the dead and ever, everlasting eternal life but the first stage is that murder should be a thing of the past and obviously the commandment of the Bible the commandment of Messiah of the Messianic era that has never yet been fulfilled is the f commandment of the sanctuary cities because God loves every single human being we are all his children one nation under one God. 
one people.